When I was with Meant to Be RVing on the coast run, she gave me this little bottle from the Cracker Barrel with flowers in it. Well, I just put some more flowers in it. A nice little addition to the kitchen area. I love those little flowers. Those are cute. <laughs> You guys already ready to come in? You ready, Jacob? Tell me. Are you ready? Yep. All right. I'll let you in. First, I got to open this back door up. I have my back door partially shut here because it had been raining. A lot of blackberries back here. I kind have of a little cheesy setup, but it was raining and I couldn't have my door open, so I threw my little reflectix piece I have extra over the top and put a piece of tape on it so the rain wouldn't come in. And it worked pretty good. Now I got to take it down. Okay, got the back door open. And nobody's over at the field today. But tonight, there is a concert over at the concert part of this, which is up to the left of that behind the trees. You can't see it. But tonight's band will be a Led Zeppelin cover band. I had showed you guys them before. They are awesome. They're called Living Love Zeppelin and uh awesome band they sound just like led zeppelin but i love the view of this field there was a bunch of them playing soccer out there yesterday a bunch of kids and i just repaired my screen on the back door here i had to jerk it down the other night when the cats got out i had to use a little lame piece of board till i get to town to buy the correct piece of wood that i need but this will hold it up and it's screwed in really good so now I can have the back door open for them again. Whoo, busy day today. My thumb, when I was put, screwing those boards up inside around the screen, I didn't realize that the bit had been spinning on that, on the screw, and I went and touched the screw and it blistered my thumb, dadgummit. I got these guys back inside. Jacob, what are you doing, buddy? He's like, whatever. They wanted back in. They've been out for three hours. Pretty nice in the shade and not too bad in the sun. All right, I'm gonna head back into the van and get stuff done. Try to work on this video, chat with you guys a bit here in a little while, and then get ready for my live tonight. I'm down to take a nap before I go live. And this guy is right on. He's like, I wanna take a nap too, huh, mom? Yep, oh, here comes another one. Uh, yeah, I'm just crawling on my legs. Yeah, I wanted to take a nap, and it looks like I'm gonna have to pet him instead. <laughs> huh. Jacob, oh my goodness. All right, guys, I'm gonna get off here, take a short nap, take my shower, and then we'll get ready for the live with Prairie Life. All right, guys, what a fun live I had tonight with Prairie Life. Uh, Karen over there, a uh, great informative live about uh, the camera equipment she uses and stuff. You guys be sure and check it out. Go check her channel out. I'll also put her link in the description of this video after I get it uh, edited and ready to load. But I am going to bed. I am so tired. But we will get up and finish this in the morning. Uh, we'll have some coffee together and we'll chat. So good night, y'all. Get some rest and I'll see you tomorrow. Good morning, coffee time. I don't know what I'm gonna do today. I'm still tired. I may lay back down here in a minute and sleep in for a little bit. I was really tired last night after the interview. I didn't sleep good, it was weird. I laid down to go to sleep and then boom, my brain just went Psh. I don't know, I just didn't sleep good. I watched uh, LA's Finest on uh, Netflix and then I watched some videos on YouTube and. And then I put it to my favorite bushcrafting uh, channel, which their videos are like 45 minutes long. There's no talking. It's all bushcrafting stuff. And uh, that helped me relax a little bit. And uh, 
I dozed off, but I think I woke up every hour and a half, hour last night. Just didn't sleep good. I don't know why, what was going on. Hopefully I'll sleep better tonight. I don't know what I was gonna talk to you guys about. I am seeing so many channels, you know, RVers, van lifers, buying a little spot of land. And a lot of them are talking about doing that, you know, or looking. I think that's just the ultimate. That would be so cool to be able to have an acre on the outskirts of town, out in the country. Um, that would be the ultimate to me. I love living in my van. I would, you know, I, I would just, it would be, be so cool to have a place to park that if you're going to pay rent or whatever, you could be making a payment on a piece of property. I mean, I don't know if I'll ever be able to do it, but I just think people are wise doing that. And that don't mean staying parked. That just means that you've got a place to go park if need be. I'd almost call it a bug out property or whatever so if you're not wanting to travel or if you can't travel at the time you can go do that and then believe me if I could do it I would I, I like I don't mind staying parked I mean I want to travel but staying parked I do have to pay rent and I know that was the whole idea is getting into the van and not paying rent even though I'm not paying near what I was paying living in a rundown apartment in a bad neighborhood I was paying uh, over 850 a month to live in a super bad neighborhood in a very bad apartment. So I'm blessed having this van and, and the parking spot I pay, pay for is not much at all. But it, you know, it would just be so cool to be able to own a, a small piece of land um, that you could just call your spot, you know? And if you gotta pay any kind of rent or anything, it'd be better to be paying for something you're buying. I mean, someday I might be able to, but right now I can't. Um, but I'm watching a lot of people, a lot of channels do this. A lot of RVers, a lot of van lifers, and I think it's such a wise decision. Definitely a wise decision. More power to them. I think they're doing the smart thing. You know, I was even watching Unstoppable Morgan, um, Maddie Van Halen, even Chrome. They've all mentioned about buying a piece of property at some point. And I just think that is such a smart decision um, in van life or RV life. Um, to have a spot that you own. And uh, so if for some reason you can't travel, wanting to take a break from driving or traveling, you have a place to go park and call it your own. I mean, for me, I, I wouldn't even care if it had hookups of it, you know, any kind of uh, power running to it or anything. Uh, I would just like to have a, an acre, half acre even, somewhere up here in, in the Oregon area. I'd like to stay close to my daughter if I'm gonna stay parked, you know, for a while. I'd rather be close to her. Um, I just think it's a great idea though, and a smart move in all of these nomads that are doing that. A very smart move. All right, guys, I'm gonna make me some lunch real quick. Be right back. Petite. Good lunch. That was a pretty good sandwich. I don't eat sandwiches a lot because of the carbs and the bread, but I haven't had one in a while, so that just sounded good to me. Um, I got to show you what I seen. I for I left here for a few minutes to go down to the post office to get some stamps or some envelopes and some ice for my ice chest. And so when I pulled out the driveway, let me show you what I seen. Oh. I don't know if that's a good sign or not. Three buzzards hanging outside the driveway. <laughs> they are huge. Wow. Guys, I'm gonna get off here, get this video edited and hopefully uploaded today. I wanna thank all you guys that just joined my channel last night on the live. And I will get you guys put in on my channel trailer uh, this week. I have to ta uh, take my computer out and get that done. And that way you guys will be on my channel member trailer that I play after my videos and in my lives. So I want to thank you again for being a part of the channel, helping this channel. And uh, much love to all of you. And all of you that watch my videos and all of you that hang out with me in my lives, I love you all. Thank you for all you do. And, uh, you know, 
I appreciate each and every one of you. So take care of yourselves, take care of each other, and look in that mirror and tell yourself you're amazing because you are. Peace out.